know that somebody is out there giving it their all. That makes me want to go hard and do the same. Knowing that the sport could be in a better place in motivates me to go out and find people who want to also share that same dream of bringing up the bar. And then once I find it, I want to figure out how to make everybody work together. Because I was raised on the idea of teamwork. So yes, I have tons of skills and talents, but I am nothing if I can't get a bunch of people to also use their talents. Because I'm only one man. And one day, I'm gonna leave the sport. And guess what? I'm hoping that whatever I do is going to inspire the people who come behind me to have the blueprint to be able to keep pushing it forward. I love that. I love that. I love that. And I appreciate you stopping to tell me that, honestly, because I think what you're doing, even coming here and stopping today when you shouldn't even have to do and get to your done for the day, trying to support the region, knowing the struggles that we're going through, I really do appreciate that. And yeah, hey. It means a lot, it means a lot. Appreciate it, y'all. I know you guys are working hard. I know you come out here every day just like us. You know, I've seen the other side. I got my own YouTube channel, so I know very well how copyrights work and trying to get in with the right people and trying to contact agents and all that stuff. And I know sometimes some, all somebody needs is one interview. And that could be the big break. So I hope that you get what you need. You're a solid guy. I appreciate you for real. Thank you. Uh, thank you for proving me wrong. <laughs> no, one more question. What's up? Um, goals the rest of the season. You know, any goal to run fast? 19-10, 9-6-5. I mean, you accomplished everything, exceeded stuff, but the time goals are still there. What's up for the rest of the season? They are still there. And, you know, I was going to bed last night, and I rolled over, and I looked at my girlfriend, and I said, you know, with a little bit of rest, uh, maybe we could take another shot at that world record. It's Zurich. <laughs> you know, there's nothing stopping me. I think something I've said a lot after the 200 is like, oh, you didn't run the time. I said, hey, you can go after a world record any day. You can only become a world champion on this day. So, you know, there's never going to be a moment where I stop chasing the world record. I just saw Michael Johnson post that he had been chasing the 400 meter world record for six or eight years. Now, that's a whole, almost a whole career, but he got it. And all that matters is that when I get it, it's going to be mine. So were you, got, were you on social media like before the race today? Or like, are you sort of doing your thing? or like? I'm sorry, what did you say? You weren't tuning 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 out social media before the race today like it, you saw it, that it's before it's so hard because i want to but at the same time i have to be somewhat engaged because i do all my social media so i need to know a little bit of the vibe but around world championships i can only be on for like two minutes because it can get really bad in there and i'm just like okay i gotta pull out yeah how, how do you deal with the you know what most people love you but there's doubters haters oh, whatever yeah. how do you deal with that stuff to be honest, sometimes you can't. And sometimes you just gotta throw your phone down. Um, like, sometimes I have to call my mom down because she doesn't under sometimes understand the idea of a troll. And it's funny because I was on, like ESPN posted that I became the world champion. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And they had a lot of, you know, likes and retweets and I went under it and it was just a bunch of trolls. You know, people just like, this isn't a sport. You know, why should we care? We put basketball back on. And I'm just like, literally profiles with no pictures, you know, no, uh, no actual names. And uh, it's just like, wow, you know, that sucks that you guys have feel like that. But at the same time, that must mean I'm doing something because I'm in the place where everybody wants there to be something else. Yeah, Andre de Grasse said these were your, champ question, were your championships. <laughs> I appreciate that, but I do I do feel like that myself, but I, I have to put that up to two things. One, I knew that going into this World Championships, everybody was going to want to do the double because so many people had grabbed the individual, so everybody was going to keep going. And then two, I lost Athlete of the Year, so where is he? That guy right there. <laughs> that guy right there. Yeah. Thank you, man. Congratulations, you're the man, you're the man. No, you're the guy. and that's why I lost because he's the man <laughs> but I made sure that I am gonna win athlete of the year so I didn't take one gold or two gold I had to take three well you did it congratulations thank, thank you. you appreciate thank it thank you